today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Batman car. It's simple and performs very well, and you will be surprised how it's easy to make. I'm using the same techniques I used in some of my old videos, except for the body, which I'm about to show you how it's made step by step. So let's start. At first, we need to get the basic materials that we are going to use through the entire project. Some of them I have already used before, so they might be familiar to you. We will start our project making the back wheels. We will do that by drilling four bottle caps exactly in the center. Then, glue each pair to both sides of an empty cello tape roll, exactly like the one we made for the bat cycle. For the front wheels, we are going to take another four caps and taping each one with another. Then open one side of each one with a hacksaw, so that the motor can fit inside. But before that, take the four wheels you made and paint them in black, as the Batman car is fully in black. After finishing the paint, it's time to assemble the back wheel by passing a bamboo skewer through one of the wheels. Then cut a small piece of a drinking straw to the size of a 9 volt battery and slide it onto the skewer. Stick the other wheel and cut the skewer to length, then secure both ends with glue. After that, take the 9 volt battery and glue the wheels right at the middle. At this point, you have finished the back wheels. The next step is to assemble the front wheels. So take the other two caps and glue them to a pair of DC motors. We are gonna be using them as motor wheels, like the one we did for the USB car that we made before. It's time now to make the body of the car, and for that we are gonna be using a 16 by 7 inch piece of a black cardboard paper. Starting by cutting a 10 cm piece, we are gonna be making two paper rolls out of each piece. One piece is 3 quarter inch and the other is 1 inch in diameter. After securing both rolls with glue, take the bigger roll and cut it into two equal pieces. Take one piece and make two opposite cuts at both ends. Press on one end and fold it this way, then use the scissors to tuck the middle of the other side to make a crease. Fold the other end at a 90 degree angle and secure it with glue. Now, repeat the same steps with the other piece of roll, so we have two pieces like this. After that, take the other roll and crease the corners, then bend it over and cut along the edges. To make it look like a cabin, border the front side by drawing a narrow line and use it to fold the outer edges like this. After that, push the upper layer and glue it in place, then cut any excess paper. Finally, draw two window frames and use a sharp cutter to slice them off. Now it's time to glue everything together, so we will take the motor wheels and glue them on the front tips of the first two pieces. Once you are done, glue both of them on the battery attached to the back wheels. After they dry out, glue the cabin right above them like that. To power up the motors, you need first to connect the motors together by connecting each wire to a different colored wire of the other motor. This will make the motors rotate at the same direction once they are connected to a power source, which is the 9 volt battery in this case. So, we will be using a 9 volt battery clip to connect the motors to the battery. Now, after we connect the battery clip to the motors and insulate the naked wires, it's time to hook the clip to the battery and the motors should start spinning together at the same time and direction. If they are spinning backwards, just reverse the terminals and they should work fine. At this point, the car is almost ready, but there is a few tips that can make it perform well and even looks cooler. Like folding two paper rolls as wings and gluing them on the sides, which will give the car a better look. Also, if you fill the empty spaces of the two window frame with tape, it will give them a cool glassy effect. And for a better performance, just put two rubber bands around the front wheels, which will make the car more steady on the ground. Beside that, use a 9 volt rechargeable battery instead of a normal one, so you can recharge it when it's out. Well, at this point, congratulations, you have made your own Batman car by your own hand. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question, make sure to leave a comment below and feel free to share this video and subscribe to my channel. Well, that's it for now. See you in the next video.